What is up world of YouTube? This is Barnon 11970 and as always I thank you guys for watching my channel. All right guys, I want to start talking about like what the video says. I want to talk about my current experience and I'm going to give my honest assessment so far about my sun gazing experience. But before I do that because this is very important, I'm going to explain how to do it because you cannot look at the sun at any time of the day and not expect to hurt your eyes. So this is something I'm going to say about in every video I make about sun gazing. I'm going to tell you how to do it. So please be patient. Watch this entire video and you will hear the amazing experience I've had so far. But think of it like fire. If you respect fire and use it properly, you can use it to heat your home and keep you warm, cook your food, and do beneficial things. Using fire improperly can kill you. So it's the same as anything in life. It's all about responsibility. It's all about knowing what you're doing. So with that being said, let me first explain how to properly do sun gazing, because whether you're interested in it or not, I don't want people just saying, oh, I watched a YouTube video and I just looked up at the sky at four o'clock in the afternoon and now I'm blind because you can injure yourself if you do it wrong. So with that being said, let's explain how to do it first. There are two times during the day where it is not only safe to sun gaze, but it is actually beneficial. And that is the first and last hour of sunrise and sunset. Those are the only times. Why? Because of due to the angle of the sun against the horizon and the ozone layer, it actually will refract the harmful UV rays during those lower times. So it is actually safer than during the middle of the day. That is why if you see, and I'll put the light close to me, I've been sun gazing now. I'm up to 35 minutes and um, 50 seconds. And I've been doing this for over a year and about a year and about four months. And if you could see all along my face, you don't see any freckles. You don't see any burn. So you can actually stare at the sun and not get burned. Again, proper times. Now, even though the all the way up to the first hour and all the way to the last hour of the sun is perfectly safe. What I always tell people is when you first start sun gazing, you want to start out, let me put in the lights so you can see, you want to start out where the sun is at the lowest point in the horizon. In other words, um, if you do this in the morning, just as the sun is rising. If you're doing it at night, just as the sun is setting. Now, it doesn't matter if you do sunrise or sunset. You're not going to do both. You only do one. You can alternate throughout the day, you know, different days if you want. Um, basically, it comes down to preference. Are you a morning person or are you an evening person? I choose to do sunset because I just don't want to get up at five o'clock in the morning to do all the stuff and then go back to sleep for an hour and go to work. So sunset for me is better. But again, it's just a preference. So ultimately, the absolute best way to get the absolute best benefits of sun gazing is to be barefoot on sand preferably the beach. Now, of course, you would have to live on the coast where there's water and there's beaches to be able to do that. So if you can't do that, the next best thing is natural dirt. You know, somewhere if you live near a lake or a stream and there's some dirt, uh, that's an ultimate place. Um, you can actually go in your backyard, uh, take away the grass and put a little spot that you could stand in in the dirt. Basically, you want your feet to the ground. The reason you don't want things like concrete, wood or chemical, um, I'm sorry, or even grass is because there's a lot of times there's chemicals and your feet can absorb things into your skin. So you don't want to absorb chemicals. So stay away from those areas if possible. Now, the way to properly sun gaze is you literally, you do what it says. You stare at the sun. You start out with 10 seconds. Now, again, you cannot do it just at any other any time. If you sun gaze at three o'clock in the afternoon, you could you could potentially damage your eyes. I have heard that African Americans that do not they do not have the same melanin as we do, and they could look at the sun at any time. Now I can't confirm this. Obviously, you could see I'm not African American, so I had somebody send me that message. So I can't guarantee that part. I would suggest more research, but even just to be safe stick with the, the safe zones and you will not have to worry about that. Now, one of the things I did notice about my sun gazing, even when you're in the safe zone, when the sun's at the highest point, like that one hour point, some days, especially in the summertime, the sun could still be a little bright. So if you ever have it where your eyes start to tear a little bit, 
that means that you should not sun gaze that day or wait until the sun gets lower. That's why I always suggest, especially when you start out, start at the lowest point. Because I've noticed that that even myself at 35 minutes, if I go to the exact top of that one hour borderline, I notice that for a day or two, I will actually see like some sunspots. So it doesn't permanently damage your eyes. I haven't had any damage. After a day or two, it goes away. But I've noticed if you stay where the sun's a little bit lower and your eyes do not tear, it's perfectly fine. And again, if you're still in the safe zone, you're not damaging your eyes. There's no permanent damage. But you can have a day or two where there are sunspots. And it does scare people. I had somebody send me a message about that. And the first time that happened to me, it scared me a little bit. But it goes away. I've noticed once you go in that lower region and you're, or a day where the sun is just not really bright because there are some days where there's a lot of UV ray lights, when your eyes don't tear and you're looking directly at the sun, doesn't bother you at all. All right, so I want to keep this real. I want to keep this honest. So I know some people might be scared, but you know that's that's your your job is to research things to the fullest extent. Um, when I did this, I didn't just watch one YouTube video and decide, oh, somebody stared at the sun. I think I'm going to do that. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I did about a month's worth of research. I watched plenty of videos of people talking about it, plenty of videos of people actually doing it. I read up on a lot of information about it, and I made sure I researched as much as I thought was possible before I, before I decided to do this. And I'm going to tell you right now, especially when I explain what happened to me recently, I'm very glad I did. Um, so what you do is you start out with 10 seconds. That's it. So you literally, you wait until the lowest point of the sun in the horizon where there's no clouds. You stare directly at the sun for 10 seconds. No more. And that's it. That's it. You're done for the day. And then every day you go, you add 10 seconds more. So you start out at 10 seconds, then you go to 20, 30 etc. Once you get to the 45 minute mark, you're done. Now, why is sun gazing beneficial? Because people can say, well, can I just get sun's energy directly into my skin? You absolutely can, but you will get more benefits when it's directly through your eyes, and I'll explain why. The sun is energy. It's, a, it's light. It's electricity. Think of your eyes like solar panels. Now, what is the job of a solar panel? Solar panel is mirrors that basically absorb the sun's light, converts it to energy, which charges a battery, which can basically gives you power to whatever you're going to ultimately connect it to. So what it's showing is that your solar panel system does nothing more than take light from the sun, convert it into energy, which creates power. Now, if you notice everything I'm doing, when I move my hands, when I blink my eyes, when I speak, when I'm breathing, when my heart is pumping, everything that we do, whether we're feeling something, touching, tasting, reacting, etc., is nothing more than electrical impulses. So when I'm doing this, for example, my brain is sending an electrical current down the nerve pathway to my hand that responds and makes it move. So everything in our body is nothing more than electricity. That's why our bodies are made mostly of water. Why? Because water is the best conductor of electricity. So if you view your eyes like solar panels, your eyes are connected to optical nerves. Your optical nerves send whatever images that you see, convert them into electricity, and send that information to a specific area of your brain. So when you are looking directly at the sun at the safe times during the day, and I cannot stress that enough, first and last hour of sunrise and sunset only, you are absorbing the light and the energy from the sun directly into your eyes, which convert that through the optical nerve to the brain, which is feeding your brain direct sun's energy. Now, we know the sun gives benefits to the earth. I mean, without the sun, we cannot survive. And that's why you see during the night, all flowers close up, all plants close up. Same thing in wintertime. When the, when the sun is not at its highest point in the uh, horizon, or in the sky actually, the flowers and, and trees, they basically, their leaves die. In the summertime and in the daytime, that's when the flowers bloom. Why? Because they absorb the sun's energy, convert it into power. Now, when you eat a vegetable, 
you're technically eating sun's energy. When you eat an animal, an animal eats plants, the plants absorb their nutrients from the sun, you're eating now third generation energy. So that's what it all boils down to. So when you sun gaze and you do it properly, your health improves. And I'm going to explain how that happens. Now to give a little background about myself, I will be 43 years old this November on November 9th. Since I was an infant, I have had breathing problems my entire life. I've had bronchitis, asthma, walking pneumonia, full-fledged pneumonia. Every year of my life, I've been sick a minimum of at least two times. Because for me, every time I got even a minor cold, the fluid would fill in my lungs, I would get an infection, and five times in my life, I've almost died from walking pneumonia or other breathing problems. So I've had this problem all of my life. Now, when I started sun gazing, that was about a year and four months ago, roughly, I think around the beginning or mid-May of last year, I started sun gazing. Since that time, I have yet to be sick. Now, my eyes, as you can see, you know, I'm waving my hand, I'm not blind, I don't have vision problems, as a matter of fact, my eyesight, I, I actually, before I started sun gazing, I already had 20-20 vision, so it's not like my eyes are improving. So when people ask, you know, are your eyes improving? Well, I already have 20-20 vision, so I didn't do it for the, for the vision part. It can keep your eyes from getting weaker because I've had some people in previous videos tell me that when they started sun gazing, they went from wearing glasses to no longer needing them. So for me... I can't explain if it improves your eyesight from my own perspective, because again, I already have 20-20 vision. But what I can tell you is my vision has not gotten worse and it has not gotten damaged. So that stays the same. But this is what I have noticed. I have noticed that my health has greatly improved. Now, I don't need as much sleep. I have more energy. You know, it's not every day you're going to have more energy. It's like life. Sometimes you're going to be up. Sometimes you're going to be down. But on the average, I find I have more energy. I don't need to eat as much, so I've lost a lot of weight, and um, this is the biggest thing I've noticed. I've had three times since I've been sun gazing where I potentially could have gotten sick, and I'll explain what I mean based on the example that happened as early as last night. I um, went to work feeling perfectly fine. It was probably around 3.30 in the afternoon, and I had to do, I am a massage therapist, so I had to uh, go do a massage for a client. It was an hour and a half massage. Halfway through the session, all of a sudden, I feel like my nose is getting very congested. So I just basically thought, well, maybe it's just the you know person's perfume. Maybe it's just something I'm allergic to or whatever. So I didn't think about it. Later on, after a couple of hours go by, I notice I'm feeling very congested and I can't stop having my nose run. So I'm thinking, all right, maybe there's something in the air. Long story short, at the end of the night, I notice I'm starting to feel the onset of a potential cold. Now, I started feeling very stuffy. I started feeling a, a little bit of a fever. And anybody who's ever had a sore throat knows that the day before they get a sore throat, they start feeling that kind of tingling, itchy feeling in the back of their throat. I felt that last night. And it actually upset me last night because I thought, wow, maybe the sun gazing really doesn't work because I feel like I'm going to get sick. I really felt the onset because it, it, I wasn't sick at the point, but you ever have it where you feel the day before, like you're going to get sick. And I was really concerned about it. I was like, oh, you know, now I'm going to have to make a video and tell people maybe it doesn't work. Well, here's the beautiful thing. I went to bed last night, 430 in the morning. And when I woke up this morning at 1030 in the morning, no fever. No more nasal congestion. The only reason I might feel sound a little stuff right now is because I'm in one of the rooms and there's no heat in here because it's actually a cold day today. So it's a little stuffy because of that, because of the cold. And my sore throat tingling is gone. So this is what I've learned because two other times, and I'll explain one other, I potentially felt like I was going to get sick and it didn't happen. And let me ex um, explain also that last night when I went to bed, I didn't take any medicines. I didn't take any aspirins. I didn't take any cough syrups. I didn't take any pills. I didn't take... The only thing I did take when I went to bed was some multivitamins, and that was it. 
So it's not like I took some cold medicine or anything and felt better. I took nothing because I wanted to see what would happen. Would I really get sick? And this is my conclusion of what I found with sun gazing. Because once you get to the 30-minute mark, it starts healing your body. Now, I know most people out there who have never heard of sun gazing because there's a lot of things in life our governments and our politicians and our schools don't teach us. That doesn't mean that just because they don't teach us, it doesn't mean it's not out there. But I've noticed that my health is definitely improving. And I'll explain why. When you sun gaze, it's not like all of a sudden you get this force field around you and it bars anything from entering your body. It doesn't work that way. What I have noticed, and especially last night, your body is going to absorb bacteria and viruses and things like that. But the biggest thing I've noticed is my immune system is so supercharged that in less than 24 hours, I seem like something's about to invade my body with some kind of bacteria, virus, or whatever. It gets rid of it. Now, this is coming from a person who, throughout my life, I've been sick every year of my life since I can remember as a child. And a simple cold for me would turn into bronchitis, pneumonia, walking pneumonia. I have never had in my life the opportunity to start feeling a little sick and the next day not be either with 105 fever or potentially in the hospital. So what I've discovered with the sun gazing is it's not going to prevent bacteria, viruses, cold flus, whatever from entering your body. I mean, you know, when you're around people and you breathe in their germs, it's going to absorb into your body. So you can't stop that. But I've noticed my immune system is better than it's ever been in my entire life. And last night really shocked me because I really thought how bad I felt last night because I had a, a little bit of an onset of a fever. I had nonstop nasal congestion and especially the sore throat. Well, it wasn't sore. It just felt like the tingling like it was going to be. And when I woke up this morning, all of it is gone. So that tells me that the sun gazing has worked. It's boosting my immune system. So again, and I'll explain one other time. There was a time, uh, the beginning of this month, no, I'm sorry, the beginning of the summer, where I went down into my basement, because I, some of you know, I also make those Oregon pyramids, and I store a lot of stuff in my basement. Well, I discovered that there was a, a little bit of a leak in one of my pipes, and it was dripping a little bit of water. And underneath where the water was dripping was a towel, um, and some sheets and a couple of pieces of like junk rags that I use if I'm doing any painting or anything like that. So when I notice all that water being, you know, pouring onto this stuff for God knows how long, stupid me decides to go and pick it up to go throw it out. Now, when I lifted the clothing underneath there, it was full of black mold. Now, if you know anything about black mold, it basically has a defense system. If you basically move anything with black mold in it, it actually shoots out spores that you could breathe in that could potentially kill you. That's why you ever see people when they're doing cleanups and they find a lot of mold, they wear masks. Now, stupid me didn't lift that up, see that, and decide, all right, I'll go get some kind of breathing mask and then go do it. I decided, ah, I just have to go up the stairs and there's a garbage pail right there. I'll go throw it out. Well, I absorbed a mass amount of that black mold. And that night, I started getting a really bad fever. And that was the first time since I've been sun gazing where I felt something. And I got really scared about that. Well, again, the next day, I was completely fine. So it doesn't prevent you from getting colds or viruses, but it heals it quickly, all three times within 24 hours and even less. I was completely fine without even having to take medication. So that's the update I want to give right now that I am at 35 minutes and 50 seconds. I go until 45 minutes and then you're done. You're charged. I've noticed my vision has basically stayed the same because like I said, I have 20-20 vision, so you can't really improve on that. Um, I don't need as much sleep. I've lost weight. I have more energy. I'm more positive. Now, when I say more positive, that doesn't mean I'm running around tra-la-la every day is fine. I will have my good days. I will have my bad days. But what I've learned is I don't harp on anything anymore. If something bothers me, upsets me, depresses me, annoys me, 
I react to it at that moment. And then an hour or so later, take a couple of deep breaths. It's gone. It's not there anymore. So it doesn't affect you. So mentally, you feel more at calm, more at peace. And the best part I've noticed so far is the fact that my immune system is better than it's ever been in my life. So technically, in the year and four months or so that I've been sun gazing, I have not been sick once. I cannot say that for the, the remainder of well, the, the rest of my life that I've had. I've never gone on an entire year without being sick or in the hospital or potentially wanting to be in the hospital. So whether you guys believe in sun gazing or not, that is not for me to decide. I'm here to give my experience because I sun gaze every day that I can where the sun is out. And it does get more difficult as you get higher up in numbers because for 35 minutes, there has to be clear sky. So if there's a bunch of clouds blocking it, you can only do 30 minutes. You haven't completed it, so you have to continue the next day that same number. But for my experience, I'm telling people, research this, do it properly, and you will see amazing results. This is all I could say. So I'm, I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm here to tell you what I feel is an amazing thing. Now, why don't governments want you to know about this? Well, plain and simple. They can't make money off of you if you heal your body naturally with the sun. And if you notice, if you look at my face, do you see... Any freck, mass amounts of freckles? Do you even see a burn or even a tan? I sun gaze every day. And like I said, I'm up to 35 minutes and 50 seconds. I don't even have a burn. I don't even have a tan. And I'll tell you something. Looking at this light hurts my eyes to look at a light. You'll actually damage your eyes more if you stare at a light bulb than you will at the sun at the proper times. So again, I cannot stress that enough. Do not look at the sun past the first and last hour. If you all of a sudden at one o'clock in the afternoon decide to look at the sun, you're going to damage your eyes. So be smart about this. If your normalcy bias doesn't allow you to research this, then you're going to miss out on something wonderful. I don't need medicines anymore. I now, even from last night, when I thought I was going to get sick and it really felt bad, and to wake up the next day less than 24 hours later, less than even 12 hours later, and I'm completely fine, I wouldn't change this for the world. So those of you who decide not to do it because you think it's crazy, you're going to miss out. This is a person who will do this until the end. It's an amazing experience. I absolutely love it. I look forward to it every day. It's a form of meditation. It keeps me relaxed, keeps me calm, and it keeps me well. So I hope you guys will check into it. Don't just bait, take my word for it. Research it. Learn as much as you can and do things properly and take your time. Just because you could... Look at the sun for 30 minutes the first time. Doesn't mean that's beneficial. So do it the right way. 10 seconds each time and add 10 seconds every time you go the next day. Don't rush it. You know, it's like going to the gym. The first time you go to the gym, you could probably bench two, three, four hundred pounds, but you're going to hurt yourself. So do it smart. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or to uh, post comment. And I wish you all a happy day. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. And remember, guys, don't just believe people out there that wear a suit and tie who go on the television and say they have a nice, fancy degree. As we see with the government shutdown and all the things that are going on with the banks and things around the world, those people are not really there for our best interests. If you really want to take their word for things that are going on and think things like this, which is nothing more than nature is crazy, well, even the religious people can say, you know, if you believe that God created everything, well, he created the sun, and the sun gives us life and gives us bene benefits and energy. So it can't be anything evil if it's been created from a good source. I can't prove that. I wasn't there when it happened. So it's all up to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your day, and happy sun gazing. Peace.